एडवांटेजेस द फर्स्ट वन बींग इट चार्जेस डेप्रिसिएशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द यूटिलिटी ऑफ द एसेट according to the utility of the asset that is in the initial years when the asset has high higher utility depreciation is charged for a higher amount rate is same but the amount comes out to be higher than in the subsequent years so since the utility is higher the depreciation is also higher the second method is the second advantage of this method is that the total effect of depreciation plus repairs total effect of depreciation plus repairs remains equal well almost it is not always equal but almost equal throughout the life throughout the throughout the life now in initial years depreciation is higher but since the asset is new the repairs cost would be low as and when the asset reaches its fag end of the life the depreciation becomes lower and the repair charges become higher so the total almost remains same hence the net effect on the profit and loss account is same which makes them more easily comparable then students the third effect or the third advantage is that this method is approved and accepted by accepted by income tax authorities that is the income tax act in india prescribes that depreciation on fixed asset should be charged on written down value method now students coming to disadvantages or the limitations of this method 